This is our ready to fly kit from Range Video. You're gonna have a heavy duty case, custom made. So, LEDs, long range telemetry, notebook for the mission planner. Here we have other parts, CF tubes. I'm gonna show you how to assemble and how you gonna what you need to do to make your first flight. How to place the batteries. You're gonna have two batteries you can choose depending on flight time that you want. Radio and an RV jet. So to place one, only one battery, put the lids first. Put it in 9 degrees with the plane and strap it. Make it tight. Using two batteries, that's the way I have to do it. First the leads go here. Then turn the, the battery inside. Put this part here first. Take the motor, power motor out, and start to spin the battery. It's gonna fit perfectly in here. Take the second battery, do the same. Leads first, this position. And then, force this part, start to spinning, and you got the nice spot here. This is good for a long time, with nice CG. Connect the parallel connector, power model, and that's it. Okay, now to go fly, you need to put the tubes inside. First, the small tube goes in the front. And the second goes in the back, the bigger. Make sure they're even. Let's put the wings. Let's fit in the holes. Push a little. Now we have the servo leads. So make sure it's right connection. That's it. One side. Let's go to the other side. We usually here we put some tape, uh, strapping tape to secure the wings. The next step will be turn on your radio. Make sure there is a stabilized mode, not return to home, otherwise your props are gonna start spinning. So connect the battery, close the lid. To get your telemetry running at the ground station, put the USB cable on. You see the light green, open mission planner, hit connect, choose the right speed is 57600, the right port also, otherwise it's not gonna connect. Alright, once you have the plane connected, you're gonna see the plane position. This is like a Google map, so you can zoom in, zoom out. Here you have uh, the artificial horizon. You have all the ma the sensors. You can t I'm tilting the plane, so you can see his tilts in here. So before each flight, it's very important. This you have to go to the action and do the pre-flight calibration. Cover your speed sensor. If like in winning, wind, windy conditions, you have to cover it and click do action. So it's going to reset, and this will give you a more accurate airspeed. You have six modes on this side, and this is the emergency key. So first, you're going to show here how it works. This to to this side works. The emergency key will have to be switched up. So. Here it's like pretty simple. We have like this arrows up and down. If this is down, you gotta enable all this, the left side that has the arrow going down. And if this is up, you're gonna enable the right side. So down, left side, manual, manual mode, as you can see in the screen. If I put it in the middle, stabilize and loiter. Loiter. It's a pretty cool mode too, if you want to keep tracking. 
the, uh, an object you can pan and tilt the the cam the GoPro camera in here so I put in manual again and I'm gonna show if I uh, lost the radio signal like here the plane is gonna trigger the fail safe and it's gonna return to the launch position so I'm gonna turn it on again put in manual Got my signal. So if I put this key, the switch up, I'm gonna enable the right side. So now he's in auto mode. He's gonna do the mission. And the meter is fly by fly by wire. It's a pretty simple mode to fly. And all the way up, so return to launch. Is the launch location is the place that you get GPS locked. So make sure to look on your mission planner. Where is the right position that you're getting? Is where you connect the batteries and wait the the last minute. To so the this left key, the switch, is the emergency. So if you lost the plane of sight or don't know what the mission, want to board the mission, whatever, you just press down. This is gonna override all the this the six modes, and I'm gonna enable the return to launch. So it's a pretty cool mode. Make sure to always. Keep it side up to have all the these modes working, and that's pretty much it. Pause the radio signal or turn it off, like, as in here. The face safe is gonna trigger, and uh, the plane is gonna come back to launch position. But if you are in auto mode and you, uh, the same thing happened lost radio signal or telemetry signal the plane is going to continue the mission so it's, this is very important to let you know that in auto mode the plane is going to keep doing the mission going to the next waypoint even if you don't have like telemetry or radio signal Just enable the GPS when you got the GPS locked make sure to verify to mark this box verify hey and now you can start clicking I'll do click one I do like here, two, three, four, and after the four, I'm gonna click add below, and uh, here I have some some orders that I can send the, to the to the plane, and I'm gonna hit return to launch. So after he finished, he passed by the four point. He's gonna ho go back to the launch. Here I have the uh, the altitudes. So I want to make like more higher, 150, 200, 120, 100, and then turn to hold to launch. If I let it zero, we're gonna we're gonna return with the stock altitude that is 200 meters. After that, I just write waypoints, send to the plane. And then it's the plane. The plane got all the waypoints. Don't put too close to the building, so because it can be a trouble. Make sure also don't put like too close one way, waypoint to other one. The plane needs like a 50 meters radius to make the curve. And here you have all the mission. So whatever you hit enable and enable the auto mode, the plane is gonna start. Go Head into waypoint one, waypoint two, and so on. So there's an important tool also that is you click with the right button of your mouse, map tool, and elevation graph. Here you have all the altitudes that are set up for each waypoint, and here's the topography from the from where we are. So the the altitude is not so big. This is important where you have hills and like topography that can can be tricky for your airplane. So this is the green line across the the red line. You are in a dangerous situation so you have to change the alt altitude. This is a very important tool. Alright before you go fly always always check the CG. Place your fingers right here on the fin tips. This is the CG point, this line. So you ha always have to check the balance. If the pen is really balanced like this one 
you, you get a nice and stable flight.